Hey everybody, John Peterson here, and I'm out in Grand Teton National Park, and I'm over by Mormon Row by the barns, and it's about 15 degrees and been snowing most of the day, so it's really difficult to get around and get into some of the pullouts, but I tell you today, what I'm really looking at is some of these solitary trees that are out along Antelope Flats Road. This is uh, something I, I really like shooting. Shooting these trees is a is a way to really emphasize some minimalism, especially with conditions like this, if you can see behind me. Uh, it's really gray, cloudy, snow's blowing, and uh, so I'm working kind of some of these trees, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. You see that tree off in the distance, just to the left of the house? That's kind of what I'm, what I'm focused on here today, and I've got a really long lens on, I've got a 400 and I'm, I'm isolating this tree against the gray background. So here's the shot that came of this one. And when doing, uh, when doing work like this, um, I really recommend to folks to shoot it both horizon horizontally and vertically and then decide when you get home which one you like best. You know, because a tree is a vertical subject, my first inclination is to shoot it vertically, which I will do, and you can see that here. But I'll also shoot it horizontally, and um, it gives it a different feel. It depends on how much negative space you want in the frame, what kind of flow you want in the frame, and that really sort of dictates to me uh, what orientation I think is going to be best for the shot. All right, let's take a look at a couple of these shots that I got from that afternoon. I'm now back home. Um, but So here's the first shot that I showed you in the video, and this is kind of the classic way that I typically will shoot these trees, or this tree in particular. I've been here dozens of times, and shot this tree under numerous seasons and weather conditions and uh, this is typically how I shoot this tree. I do like the horizontal aspect ratio of this because it gives a little bit more negative space and it adds to the solitary feel of the tree. But if I go to a vertical composition, this is what a vertical shot could look like. Again, the vertical orientation really accentuates the orientation of the subject. As I said, the tree is vertical, and so having a, a vertical orientation for the, for the uh, image really can uh, sort of accentuate the shape of the tree. One of the things that I like to do with this as well is experiment with both being really tight into the tree as well as backing off and providing even more room around the tree. And here's an example of that. <clears throat> this is a uh, this is another tree just to the left of, of the one that I shot. And you see now I've got even more open space around the tree. And this image is less about the tree and it's more about the negative space. Where this image is about the tree and it has negative space. This is about negative space and there happens to be a tree in it. One of the things I, all, I, I, I will sometimes experiment with as well is putting my subject on different sides of the frame. Case in point, here's the horizontal with the tree on the left. What do you think? This versus this. Personally, and I think scientifically they've backed this up, is that we prefer things on the right-hand side, typically of the frame. This feels a little funny to me being on the left. It, I, it's hard to describe with the feeling that I get, but it's a little bit of unsettled, a little bit of tension, a little bit of anxiety um, around having this tree on the left versus the tree on the right. 
And then finally, one of the things that I'll do here at this location as well is I'll shoot both trees. And when you're doing stuff like this, you have a real, um, a lot of creative latitude, even though it seems very simple, but you do have a lot of creative latitude as to how much foreground, where, it, where uh, is the dividing line of where the foreground meets the sky, how much sky, what uh, angle do you want these trees at uh, in relation to one another. Um, my only access was along the road, so I had to stop and park in the road to shoot this. But I could work the angle up and down the road as I felt it best. Um, but so there you go. I got one tree vertically, one tree horizontally, uh, tight, far away, and then these two trees. So that's just a little example of how you can work some really simple subjects into some compelling photographs. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. If you like this, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that kind of good stuff. Have a wonderful day.